Boost Watch. What up, fam? It's your boy Rack coming at you with another episode of the Boost Watch. Boost Watch is going to be a weekly series where we go ahead and talk about the upcoming releases so you guys can be more aware of what's coming out. So, hopefully, at the end of the day, you can get that W hopefully soon. I do have one disclaimer for these series here, guys, and that is prices and release dates are subject to change prior to release. I highly suggest you guys follow me on my Twitter account because that's where I usually find all my news about any upcoming releases. I do apologize for not releasing a Boost Watch episode last week. I just got sick and I really wanted to rest up. But guys, I do have a new episode for you guys. It's gonna be pretty short here. So let's go ahead and get started with it. And for today's topic, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the Yeezy Boost 750s. It looks like Adidas still had a Yeezy Boost 750 just hanging around the wings. Going through the Twitter account, Yeezy Mafia, it looks like these brown alliterations were canceled in the beginning of 2016 and now it's getting a release date this month. It looks like the only major change about this one versus like the one that came out before is that it's just gonna be an all brown upper versus like a lighter gray. So if you guys do want to get a chance to cop a pair, I highly suggest going on the Adidas Confirm app. Signups has already been started and it looks like reservations are going to be opened up on Wednesday, October 12th. So that's going to be next week, guys. These guys are going to be released on Saturday, October 15th. And supposedly there's going to be other websites carrying this model. So Adidas is not the only place where you can get them. I'm hearing that foot sites are actually going to get them like Foot Locker, Foot Action, one of those sites are gonna carry them. So good luck to any of you guys who are gonna be trying to cop, because I know this is gonna be another hard cop. And for the rest of us, let's go ahead and take that early L. So let's go ahead and move on to the Ultra Boost news. Starting off with the Triple Black Ultra Boost. So this very long awaited shoe looks like it was going to be released next week on Thursday, October 13th. So what's so hype about these Triple Blacks? Not only is it a version one, but we've been waiting for this one to be released like for maybe, oh man, half a year already. Now Adidas is deciding to actually release it. However, it is now confirmed by Adidas that it is not coming out next Thursday. It is still coming when we don't know. Rumors has it, it's gonna be sometime in November or even the first of January. Whichever the case may be, I'm just glad that it's still dropping and it's not going to be this month so I could go ahead and save some of my moolah for this upcoming release. And this time around, we're going to be talking about more 3M Ultra Boost on its way. So it looks like we're going to have not one, not two, but three brand new Ultra Boost 3Ms coming out. So out of the three models, it looks like we are getting a black 3M. We're also getting a white 3M and we're going to be getting an uncaged white 3M. So these guys are going to be modeled by the Ultra Boost version 2. So for the black ones, we've kind of seen them already. It's very reminiscent to the Silver Pack Ultra Boost that did came out. The only thing that's going to be missing is that metallic silver cup, but everything else is going to be the same. Just the only major difference is there's going to be 3M infused in the knitting on the prime knit. As for the white one, it's going to be modeled after the triple whites. The only major difference here is it's going to be, of course, the 3M infused in the prime knit as well too. And of course, my favorite one out of all of them, which is going to be based on the triple white model, is the uncaged 3M. Honestly, I think this one looks the best out of all of them, and I am a huge fan of the uncaged models. So this is definitely going to be the pair that I'm going to be picking up if I had to choose at least one of them. I'm just glad to have another opportunity to cop another white uncaged ultra boost model but if they end up making a black 3m uncaged though and that's all that i have for you guys for today i'm sorry for the short episode guys i do have family in town and i had to get packed up for my trip over the weekend i'll be heading to california for the weekend attending my favorite event of the year Universal Studios Hollywood Horror Night. So if you guys are attending as well, I'll be there on Saturday, October 8th, and I'll be rocking my brand new D-Rose Knicks jersey, as well as my brand new Glitch XR1. I'm actually gonna be rocking this, so I could go ahead and make a full review for you guys. 
next week. And no, I actually copped a W finally. So if you guys are attending, feel free to come up to me and say what's up. Maybe we'll take a picture together or something and then I'll go ahead and feature you guys in the next video. Anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So go ahead and hit me up with a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Share this with other Boost fans out there. And of course guys, if you guys like more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. But until the next video guys, always keep it cool, keep it fresh, keep it positive. But whatever you guys do, go ahead and boost your life and always rock it cozy. It's your boy Rye and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.